What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, you can uh, smash this up and be notified for, for future readings. Love you guys. Um, appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I do, I do, I do. Just saying. Okay, so this is take two because first one, I, I got it again, but I lost it, so I turned it off because it I was sitting here having a brain fart. So, just saying. But I got it back. Hope everybody's doing fantastical. Just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was, before I forget it again, was someone that lied in a very important investigation. I heard a um, citywide investigation of the past involving you, someone that lied on you, intentionally. I heard intentionally. Through many series of chain events, they're about to be very publicly humiliated, and I heard they will be reprimand, reprimanded. Reprimanded. Say that five times fast. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I don't know what kind of reprimanding that is. I have no clue. I, I just heard reprimanded. So reprimanded for anybody doesn't know that's basically like punishing somebody. It's basically like punishing somebody. So uh, I'm not sure what what kind of reprimanding they're going to get. But some kind of punishment of some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm presuming. Because I heard reprimanded. So that's like a punishment. So um, I feel that could be a I don't know. I don't know if it's a a fine or a I don't know. Whatever reprimand it is, whether it's a fine or a demotion or a, some other kind of punishment. Um, I'm not sure. Some kind of reprimanding energy. Could be legal issues. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've been in the part of one investigation in my life. I will tell you this. I've been part of one investigation. And that it was when I lived on base. At NASJRB Fort Worth in Fort Worth, Texas. Our neighbor was very, very high level, and they were um, looking to. Um, they were in the Navy. They were in the Navy, and um, they were looking to gain security clearance for a promotion. So they investigated people randomly around the, the my neighbor, which I was one of them. Um, so I invited the person in and answered all the questions, which I really didn't know that person very well, but they were a good neighbor. Never caused us any problems, any grief, any sorrow. And um, I just answered all the questions that I knew. Now, if I didn't know, I said I didn't know. But um, so I've only been a part of one investigation, and that was for my neighbor. And my neighbor didn't, I'm assuming they didn't know who they were asking because I didn't really know that neighbor. And that's just the truth. So, um, and I told the investigator that, but the investigator was very clear and told me why they were there, who they were investigating, why they were investigating, because um, he was looking to gain a security clearance for a promotion. And so I invited the person in, very nice person, and answered all the questions. But whatever this is, it's a citywide investigation of the past regarding you. Um, but they lied very heavily and um through many series of chain events they're about to um people know they lied very clear people know they lied very clear so people know they lied very clear so people know they lied very clear and they're about to be reprimanded in some shape form or fashion so you plug in how it resonates it was so bad it caused beautiful things to be given to someone else That was not theirs. Okay, I heard it was so bad. They lied on you so bad. Intentionally, I heard in here intentionally. In this citywide investigation that it caused beautiful things to be given to someone else. Um, and, um, but the person lied intentionally to give it to the other person. They most certainly did. And people know they did. Okay, I heard they most certainly did, and people know they did. So people know this person lied intentionally to give the beautiful blessings and things to the other person. But they should have been yours, sir, ma'am. You're a femme energy. You're a femme energy. You're a femme energy. That's so shitty. That is so shitty. That is so shitty, and that's just the truth. Um, and plus, you're not supposed to lie to investigators, if anybody needs to hear that. You're not. You. That's like a federal offense, and that's just the truth, depending on who you're talking to, but when I talked to the military person, when they came to my home uh, for my neighbor, 
there's no way in hell I would have lied to them. And I mean, because I don't want to get in trouble. And that's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I heard they intentionally lied to give the beautiful blessings and whatever. I don't know if it was money, items, or whatever it was to the other person intentionally. They lied intentionally to give it to the other person. But people know that they did. They're about to be very publicly humiliated. And their life is about to decline in a huge way. Okay, I heard they're about to be very publicly humiliated and their life is about to decline in a huge way. So whoever this person is, to you, sir or ma'am, they're about to be publicly humiliated and their uh, life is about to decline in a huge way. Well, they shouldn't have lied intentionally to give your blessings to another person intentionally. And that's just the truth. That's terrible. For one, it was your ex-mother-in-law. For one, it's your karmic mother. For one, it's an ex-co-worker. For one, it's an ex-lover. Oh, my God. For one of you guys, it's a your ex-mother-in-law. For one, it's your karmic mother. So, your mother that doesn't have good intentions for you. For one, it's your ex-co-worker. For one, it's an ex-lover. And for one, it was a sister. And for one, it was a sister. A lot of feminine energies in here. So, for one of you guys, it was a sister. For one, it was a karmic mother. For one, it was a... Um, karmic um ex-mother-in-law for one it was a um ex-co-worker for one masculine or femme for one it was an ex-lover masculine or femme to your femme wow heard their lives are about to start declining in a huge way well they shouldn't have intentionally lied to give it to somebody else that is serious if anybody needs to hear that you're not supposed to that is i wonder if your ass don't get locked up I didn't hear you are going to, but your ass should be. And that's just the truth. Because imagine if somebody lied on you in a very important investigation to give beautiful blessings, whatever this was, whether it was money, items, or whatever it was, to another person. You wouldn't have appreciated that. And that's just the truth. If you are the karmic watching this. Heard they're about to be publicly humiliated. Heard they're about to be publicly humiliated. Well, they should be. Completion. Completion of the investigation in the past. Completion of the karmic cycle. Completion of the situation. Of them lying on you in the past. But they're about to be exposed. in some kind of reprimanding energy. Whatever that is in these people's lives. Whether it's your sister, your karmic mother, your karmic ex... Um, Mother-in-law, your ex-co-worker, masculine or femme, or the ex-lover, masculine or femme. A high vibrational air sign is really about not to mess around. Seriously not about to mess around. A high vibrational air sign is seriously about not to mess around. Seriously about not to mess around. They can see right through the lies now. They can see right through the lies now. So you hot vibrational air sign, if this resonates for you, you can see right through the lies now, sir, ma'am. Um, but I guess you did. I think you might have. I think you might have interviewed these people. I think you might have interviewed these people. Um, or and I don't know if it was an interrogation, an interview, or what it was. When the investigator investigator came to me when I lived on base at NASJRB, when my ex husband was in the Marine Corps. They were very nice. It wasn't like an interrogation. It was just, hey, can I ask you a few questions? They told me why they were there. It was my neighbor. They were looking for a promotion, a security clearance. I mean, it was very nonchalant, very, um, very nice. I mean, it wasn't me is what I'm saying. It was a woman that came. I mean, she was very nice. So I heard you're seeing right through the BS now air sign, high vibrational air sign, you treat people honestly, true, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, but I guess you didn't in the past. Uh, but you are now. A lot of karmics from, for you masculine femme, but you have a vibrational air sign, you're seeing right through the BS. Completed. Mask off, baby. And a background check, this air sign is about to gain authorization to a very significant background check of you 
is about to become very significant in this. Very significant. And a background check that this air sign is about to gain authorization to of you, sir, ma'am, um, is about to become very significant in this. So some kind of background check energy. I heard they're about to gain authorization to it. Doesn't sound like they have yet, but they're about to. Um, this high vibrational air sign is about to become very significant um, for you. Um, this person could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they're summarizing Venus, Ortho, and Midhead with Jupiter charts. So they're very high vibrational. I, I heard they've seen clearly now. So I think they might have asked, uh, interrogated these, well, I won't say interrogation, but interviewed these people in the past, possibly. Um, or been involved with this in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. But somehow they have authorization to gain access to your background check, I'll tell you that. So they are some kind of position of authority. Because you just can't gain authorization to someone's background check without permission. Unless the person gives you permission or you are part of an agency or entity. And um, you authorize them permission. And that's just the truth. So, they're a position of authority in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I, I wonder if they're Fed level or state level or something of that nature. Some kind of investigator energy. Just saying, just saying. Is what I'm feeling. Everything that was given to the other person through many series of chain of events, they're about to have to give it up, and they're going to be very upset. It's another feminine energy. But it was never theirs to begin with. This air sign is about to get a huge-ass wake-up call. They already got a huge-ass wake-up call, and they realized it, and they're about to realize it more, especially with the background check. This background check is very significant in here. Okay, so through many series, okay, so in the past, <laughs> excuse me, in the past, all these people basically lied on you, fem energy, to ha have another person gain some money, assets, or high level stuff you were supposed to have through an investigation, basically, ma'am. But they intentionally did it. They intentionally did it to keep you stuck and stagnant. I'm feeling. I didn't hear that. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning. But they did it. To give it to somebody else, probably, it was out of spite and maliciousness. It was out of spite and maliciousness. I heard it was out of spite and maliciousness. It was out of spite and maliciousness they did it. But this air sign, high vibrational air sign, uh, they were involved with this in the past in some shape, form, or fashion, whether they interviewed them or they didn't in the past. But somehow they're about to gain access to your background check. So, uh, they have some kind of clearance to do that is what I'm saying. I feel they might work for the state or feds or something. But once they get access to your background check, it sounds like you have already participated in a background check in the uni universe or you're about to. But however that resonates, they're going to gain access to your background check. And once they do, they're going to get a, or they already got a wake up call and they're about to get another one that basically everything this person took of yours through this investigation that they shouldn't have taken because they wouldn't you. They should have taken because they wasn't you. Because you are you. And your background check is about to prove that. If that makes sense. So completion of cycle. I heard this person's going to be pissed. But they shouldn't be pissed. Because somebody lied out of maliciousness and greed. To give it to another person. And the thing is this person knew they're not you. That's like identity theft. If anybody needs to hear that. That's really crazy. The person that took your stuff is about to go down too. They should have never done it. The person that took your stuff is about to go down too. They should have never done it. A Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. A Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. So the person that took your stuff in the past with this investigation, they should have never done it. And they're about to have to give it all back. They're going to be pissed. And it's some kind of Scorpio, masculine fem Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. They could have Scorpio and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or their men here with Jupiter charts. Well, that's what you get for lying. And that's just the truth. I'll tell you my story of the investigator at NASJRB Fort Worth because that's my only experience with an investigator in the world. But you better believe I was honest with every freaking question they answer, um, that I answered for them. Because I'm not going to lie. There's no, one, there's no reason to lie. And two, 
I knew who I was speaking to. A high-level person in the uh, military. They were contracted with the military, but still. They were doing their job. I did my job as a citizen and answered all their questions. And that's just the truth. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. And namaste.